It's six o'clock in the morning and I am getting ready to take off on a seven and a half hour car trip to Madison, Wisconsin, where I'm going on retreat and I can't wait. So I am preparing my provisions so that I don't get tempted along the way to stop at you know where. So first, uh, water. These are uh, kombucha bottles, by the way. Kombucha is a fermented drink. Uh, it's a fermented drink that um, I drink all the time and tell friends to do that um, because it is uh, very nutritious for the immune system. It's great for digestion, it's great for the colon, um, it adds probiotics, and um, it is uh, an extremely nutritious soda. So anybody who likes fizzies and wants to get off sodas, if you like a little sour taste, because you know fermented food always has sour taste. But anyway, they make great water bottles, glass water bottles. Uh, you know, there are these uh, stainless steel water bottles now, but I just don't like the taste of them. Um, so I put my water in kombucha bottles and take them with me so I don't have to stop. I probably will have to stop along the way, get some more water, but that's a quart. Uh, and this, I'm drinking my kefir. It's filtered water, of course, from the uh, my reverse osmosis water, you know, in my kitchen sink. And this is uh, my toddy, my ER toddy, which I just made and which is getting me really awake this morning. Okay, here are my my toddy, my my goodie bags, and I have one um, for the car for the car trip and I will have one for, I'm staying with a friend and I'm bringing provisions there too. But let's start with the car trip. I've made a list so I don't forget. And I have a cold bag and a hot bag. So this is my, my cold bag. Um, so I can put ice packs in it. So the cheese goes in. And one of my favorite, favorite, really fast food snacks is an avocado. Okay. These are hard boiled eggs that I just made last night. Um, with uh, an egg cooker. This is a jar from one of my mixes, the Big B mix, so I put my hard boiled eggs in there. There are, let's see, two, four, six eggs. I'm going away for three days. So uh, I made six eggs, maybe a couple for the road and uh, a couple more for the weekend and maybe for the trip back. And that way I don't have to worry about making anything over there. So I put it in this little jar um, and I've made it with an egg cooker. I'd like to show it to you. This is like a $30 little kitchen appliance, which I use uh, really every week. Um, it's, a, uh, it's an egg cooker, and it cooks seven eggs, and you don't have to tend it. It's very important not to overcook eggs. A lot of people do. If you cook, in, if you, cook in, uh, if you boil eggs, don't cook them more than four and a half minutes, even for hard-boiled eggs because then you're cooking the nutrition to death. So bring the water to a boil. If you're not using one of these egg cookers, bring the water to a boil, put the eggs in, uh, put holes in the eggs, and then uh, um, and boil them. But if you use an egg cooker, it'll show you how to make a hole in the wide part of the egg with a thumbtack. And then uh, you put them in this, in this thing. You see, you put the, with a thumbtack, um, you put, you make a hole, you know, in the fat part of the egg, and then you put them in here. You cover it up. You turn it on, and voila! It'll it'll ring whenever when it's ready. Okay, so this is an egg cooker. You can get it at Target for about thirty bucks. Uh, there are other models, you know, for twenty between twenty and thirty dollars. Okay, so these are my eggs, and then I put an avocado in here so that it doesn't get crushed. And this goes. Since the avocado is ripe, I don't want it to get any riper. It goes in my cold bag. This is my cold bag. So that, that's that. Uh, these are sardines, um, another one of my favorite snack foods. Because all I need with the sardines is a, uh, is a fork. So I put the fork with the sardine so that I don't have to hunt for it with a rubber band. And I put that. It's neither hot nor cold, so I'll put it here just in case to see whether, which bag it'll fit in. Okay, um, that's, that's, uh, so I put the cheese in, the eggs and the avocado, and I have, of course, my, my drink, uh, which I will make another one of and take with me on the road. 
I usually also have bought maybe uh, some uh, roast beef, sliced roast beef or sliced turkey, but I didn't have time yesterday, so I'm just going without. I'm going with the eggs, the cheese, the avocado, and the sardines, which I'll put in the cold bag so they're all together, because this has almost nothing in it. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting, when I finish, I'll be putting my toddy in the cold bag, and, and these are ice packs. I've had this one for a long time. This is great because it curves. Uh, so I put, th this is ice, dry ice, so it doesn't leak. Um, and this is a little more common. You can in fact sometimes get these in your fish markets. And they'll give them to you for free if they're kind. So I put this in the cold bag. And um, what I'll do is I'm going to, there's room in my cold bag for my weekend provisions. So I will put some kefir. I'm going to be making a toddy every morning. So I'm going to bring some kefir with me. And you know, kefir uh, doesn't need to be refrigerated because the fermentation just goes on. Uh, but then it becomes a little too sour. So I like to keep it in my cold bag after it's been fermented the way I like it. So this is kefir, uh, raw gold kefir that I made from kefir grains from Maryland, the kefir lady. So I'm putting this in my cold bag. This is kefir. And I'm bringing, since I'm staying three days, I'm bringing four cups of kefir. Here we go, and as, you know, these kombucha bottles are just wonderful because I use them to transport kefir. Okay, this is kefir. Then, this is cod liver oil that I will use to make my toddy in the morning. So I have kefir water for my toddy, cod liver oil, which goes in the cold bag, and coconut oil, which can go in the hot bag. And I won't bring this big bottle, so I'm gonna look for something to transfer it in. Okay, here's a handy dandy bottle, jar to transfer it in. So. You, you notice that the coconut oil is, is liquid now because it's 76 degrees just about in the house. So that's probably more than I'll need, but there it is. And this will go in the hot bag uh, because it really, uh, it'll solidify in the cold bag and I really don't want that. Um, so there it goes in the hot bag. And I put my water in the hot bag because I like warm water, so this is, this is kind of warm. Um, I mix hot and cold. I have an Insta-Hot uh, water heater in my kitchen. It's the, just my very favorite appliance. Um, but anyway, this is hot, oh, warm water. Uh, this is coconut oil for my toddy in the morning. So what else do I need? I need for my toddy, I need um, my toddy mix, which I made a few days ago. So in, uh, I make a, whole, a batch for a whole month. I keep uh, the extra in the freezer. And this I'm going to take with me. Always my standby. If nothing else, I can make a drink. Uh, and I put this in the cold bag. There we go. I'm going to bring, bring an extra avocado. Uh, if I can find a... Oh, I can put it in my shaker. I'm going to use the shaker because I don't need a blender. I don't need to bring my blender, although I've done that on occasion. But I'll bring this and protect the avocado. This is my shaker.